like for me, for example, the bikinichef.com, or we have um, if my healing remedies and recipes class um, with Dr. Ward Bond. We have healing remedies and recipes, drwardbond.com. So find people that you um, can trust and that you believe in their health philosophy and lifestyle philosophy and email them and ask them for their recommendation. If you find a product that's of interest to you, just you know, email me, Susan at SusanIrby.com or whatever, or you know, Barbara or someone who's versed in that. Well, and I am, um, or send them a message and ask. I really know. believe too that if you really want something, if you really want to eat healthier, if you really want, you will find a way right. to do so. Right. You know, I really think another option is um, community garden. Mm -hmm. um, it's right. much cheaper to buy a pack of tomato seeds than it is to buy a tomato plant than it is to buy organic tomatoes. So you can buy a pack of seeds for a um, dollar fifty, and like we're doing here, we use tires. Yeah. Um, we actually are growing things in used tires. We're growing things in all kinds of recycled pots. So you can sometimes do that, and then if if one person is growing tomatoes and one person is growing cucumbers and one person is growing zucchini, then you can trade and barter for it. I think that one of the things that would really be a benefit in our communities, especially communities that are challenged in things like food, would be bartering and community gardens. You put in so many hours in the garden, you can have so many pounds of food out of the garden, and it's completely different when it's picked out of the garden right. than if you buy it in Trader Joe's. It's still different. Mm -hmm. How I mean, everyone I'm, doesn't have a green thumb. Like, I don't necessarily have a green thumb and other people don't necessarily have time. So, mm -hmm. you know, like you say, if there is a garden, then, you know, or like bartering or something, like I'll help you with your resume. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, but yeah. I think that that's a, a, a huge <clears throat> benefit right. to people who have financial challenges and the other to barter their skills for things like the that. other side of that too is while if you really want to do something you'll find a solution i don't think that there's always the knowledge of the option so what do you how do you get the knowledge of the option out there for eating healthy when you don't necessarily have it right there in front of you well that's that's um that's the tough one that's where we all you know, getting the message out, um, having conversations like we're having now um, is so important. And, um, you know, as much as you don't like the media for, you know, for in other ways, but it's a powerful tool for reaching more people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, and putting out, you know, consistently sharing good information. Um, because, as you pointed out earlier, people are typing in Google, you know, questions all the time. So, you know, what do I do for back pain? And the more we put out, you know, good information, there's a better chance of them finding Absolutely. us, you know. And, and also within that, they're going to find a lot of information. So reading through it and trying to determine which is best um i know i mean we're we're here we're trying to do our part you know to reach as many people as possible um but i also feel that it it something has to change within each person to have that desire because i can talk to someone all day long and share with them you know what i feel may benefit their health but until they really feel um a pain in their lifestyle, whether a doctor tells them um, they have to lose weight or whether they have the doctor tells them, you know, if you don't get your blood pressure down, you're going to have a heart attack. And, and the people have to believe it and want to change enough to really become, you know, more active in their own health. And you can't really make someone become more active in their right. own health. They have to want to do that. Okay. And I think that's kind of what Robin was saying. Like if someone wants to change their health, but I work with people every day that have a strong desire and want to change their health, but they still are battling with old lifestyle habits. Mm -hmm. and